Today we have our 2012 Chrysler 300 that's in for some repairs. Um, while it's being repaired, I want to go ahead and show you how to remove the intake manifold assembly. Um, it's fairly cut and dry. Um, a lot of people, they think it's a bigger job than what it is. Uh, it's just a few bolts, a few connectors. Uh, it's fairly easy. What you need to do is First of all, you need to make sure the fuel pressure has been bled off so that you don't have any kind of uh, dangerous condition with fuel getting on the exhaust. For the sake of time, I've gone ahead and disconnected a lot of items. I'll show you them item by item. Fuel line, for example, has been already unhooked. You've got eight injector harness connectors, four on each side of the engine, as well as four eight millimeter bolts on both sides for a grand total of eight and that's what actually bolts the intake to the engine once that's removed uh, you only have a couple more items unhook your air inlet unplug the electronic throttle body unhook vacuum line coming to the throttle body that leads over to your purge solenoid you got one MAP sensor connector in the rear, and you've also got one vacuum hose going to the brake booster. Once all those items have been disconnected, unbolted, or removed, the intake's now ready to be removed. Like I was saying, it seemed like a harder job than what it is. It's actually not. Um, you just want to take a, pure, a few precautions. Uh, the main reason why you would probably be taking this off is you're doing any kind of engine work. For example, removal of the heads, uh, one of your multiple displacement solenoids, maybe there's an issue, or something that's being a little bit more common lately is the oil control valve that's related to the variable valve timing. Um, just take care to make sure nothing gets down into the intake ports. You don't want any stray bolts, uh, debris of any sort to get down in there. So you may want to just get you some couple shop rags, towels, whatever, placed across the opening. Mainly because if you walk away, you don't want anything to fall down in there or anybody to come by and cause something to get in there. Um, that's pretty much step by step on the removal. And of course, as always, the installation is just reverse of the removal. I appreciate you watching the video. Stay tuned for more.